The system is failing. We're going to have more homelessness, more unemployment, and the government has to print more money. It's a command and control economy where the government tells you everything. I just don't trust our government. You know, and they're going to have to start printing pretty quickly. And the more they print, the less value purchasing power the dollar has, or the loony, or the yen, or the peso. People are talking about inflation. I think we're in depression right now. And we're going to be a biggest depression in world history. In the 1970s, that's when the world was changing. The biggest bust in the history of the world is coming up. It's pensions. They trusted the government. They trusted their pension would be there, and it's going to go bust. And that's us. We get crushed. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bearable bull here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today. As guys, I'm excited to announce, for those of you in my OnlyFans community, the link is in fact live for you guys to join my Discord for a free trial. For the next couple weeks, you guys will have access into that community as plenty of information will be shared about different tokens, exit strategies, the Flare Network going live as well as other wealth creation strategies I'm going to be using during these difficult times. And guys, also note, for everyone in that community, I have a Q&A session on Discord today at 1.30 Eastern Time. And I look forward to seeing all of you in there, as it's going to be one of the more exciting Q&A sessions and longer ones that I've personally had. That's 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and I'll see you all soon. Now, with that being said, guys, when we look at the overall crypto market, we see that Bitcoin's at 19.9, Ethereum's at 1500, leading up to this ETH 2.0 merge, and XRP's at 33 cents. Something else you need to be aware of is that a major update to Cardano is taking place. Cardano is at 47 cents. And before we continue, I have to remind all of you of what I've been stating for the past couple weeks. I told you guys about a month ago, I went all in with my cash position recently. And the reason being is because I think we're going to be heading upwards in the crypto market. I believe we're going to be having bullish price action. And in this video, I'm going to be describing a number of things that help support and justify my stance. First and foremost, I have this clip from Raul Paul, one of my favorite macro investors, letting you guys know his two cents of the macro, the crypto, and the overall state of the world. And I think you're going to get chills down your spine, as it's incredible news to hear. The next couple of months, I'm expecting it to be signaling a full recession, and we'll get to the tipping point where bond yields start to fall. It'll start affecting asset market. So I'm not a believer we go to new lows. I've done surveys after survey and seen all the surveys on Twitter. 70% of all respondents in crypto and macro think equities go to new lows. Now, if that is the case, then most people are positioned for it. So therefore, the path of pain is the opposite. And I think the markets price that in. So I think there's no certainties in this world. I can be wrong. But my view the balance of probabilities are for me that the the uh, risk asset markets equities crypto have bottomed we are having a retest and as the economic data shifts and bond yields come down that'll drive that further and it'll be a further hated rally because nobody will understand we're going into recession why are equities going up well because they already priced the recession it's their job to be forward-looking indicators so that's kind of the big picture framework. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that right there should get you extremely excited. You see, I've been telling everyone for a long time I've been bullish on the crypto market while everyone has been bearish. The majority of retail investors are bearish and think we're going to go lower. That's why I know we are going to rise in value. Did you listen to what he stated? The point of most pain would be if retail investors believe there's a bear market and we're going to go lower, which they do, but instead equities and crypto go higher, which I believe they will. The most hated rally in history is about to take place, and all of you, if you're not paying attention, 
are going to miss it. This is when I believe an altcoin rally could happen in the crypto space. We haven't seen one yet, but we have the ETH 2.0 merge and the potential end of this XRP case coming soon as indicators and catalysts that will help compound our profits. Now, I don't know if you guys heard that, the part where Raul Paul discussed how the market has priced in a recession already. And that's what I've been discussing on my channel for the past couple weeks. Ladies and gentlemen, the stock market has crashed to a point where Fed Chair Jerome Powell does not have to continue raising rates indefinitely to try and tame the stock market. He's helped deflate the bubble a little bit without having to raise interest rates, and that's important. I personally don't know if they will continue to raise rates or keep things the same or eventually lower it. I actually do know that they will eventually lower it because their CBDC plan will call for negative interest rates, but that's coming down the road. In the immediate short term, they deflated the bubble that was forming by being hawkish without actually having to raise rates as aggressively. Let's see what happens this month in September. But in my opinion, we're going to have a rally. That rally will be special because we'll be able to accumulate some capital and be able to use that as a catalyst in our lives. One, to be able to have money on the side for when the big financial crisis happens. And two, to be able to create new income streams. Remember guys, we need money. Cash is going to be king. Physical cash. Not having money in the bank, by the way. Because what we're going to have is a financial collapse of epic proportions after this rally. I don't know exactly when, but I believe the top will be at some point when Congress bans themselves from owning stocks. And we have to take a look at what just broke yesterday. This is from Watcher Guru, and it states stock trade ban proponents request U.S. House to limit politicians' stock trading by September 30th. Now guys, that does not mean stock trading by Congress will actually end September 30th. That just means we have to pay extremely close attention because I think the top of the U.S. stock market will come in at around that time, followed by an epic collapse. We have a brief window to profit. Altcoin seasons take place in a short period of time. And I hope you're all ready for it. In addition, guys, another reason I'm extremely bullish on the crypto market this September is that Biden's executive order in the crypto industry is coming out. Remember, in March, they stated they're going to ask all these organizations like the SEC, CFTC, and other government bodies to bring back information that they've been circulating and discussing about how to regulate the crypto space. I believe this executive order could bring positive regulatory clarity to crypto. And we have to keep that in mind. All we need is clarity in the crypto market. Also, these midterm elections are another leading indicator that make me believe that the market is going to rise because they would most likely prefer a favorable looking economy right before elections than a negative one. There's been a lot of negative press about a recession, rates affecting people negatively, inflation, people suffering. But if we have a market rally in crypto and stocks right before elections, it could help build their narrative that the economy is actually doing pretty good. Keep that in mind and also note that with a new Congress possible after these midterm elections, like Kevin O'Leary said, he believes more clarity could come to the crypto market. That is yet another bullish indicator for the crypto space and you need to be excited about this. The biggest thing hampering innovation and crypto adoption as well as positive price action is the lack of clarity in the crypto market. And here I have this clip of Brian Brooks explaining the importance of just having rules in this game. Please take a listen. 
are you a proponent of, of regulation will eventually be uh, just what we need to, to remove the uncertainty? Or uh, just looking at a, I saw a piece on Gary Gensler today, and he's serious. He's serious about a lot of things uh, in, in terms of the SEC, very activist. And I, I don't know whether uh, the regulation is necessarily going to be the panacea for crypto. Well, Joe, first of all, let's define some terms, okay? Regulation does not mean suing people. And the approach the SEC's had for the last couple of years has been to not tell anyone what the rules are in advance, but to sue people after they've launched a project, started a company, listed a token, um, and then cause people to infer what the rules were later. That's not a good thing. And so at some point, Congress and the regulators need to get serious about telling people, you know, what is the speed limit on the crypto highway and what projects are appropriate and good once we set frameworks and rules for those things, you'll see a flourishing. But until then, you're going to see a lot of people very nervous about investing in the space. Well, does that have anything to do with that chart you're looking at right now? Or is that just a chart you overlay the NASDAQ with? No, no. I, I think there are a bunch of things going on here. This is the problem with doing technical market analysis, right? Every chart is uh, like tea leaves you can read something into. But I think with Bitcoin and crypto broadly, there are two things going on right now. One is we've talked before about the idea that Bitcoin is an inflation hedge and the more the market expects tough policy from the Fed, the less Bitcoin is necessary as an inflation hedge. You know, I've debated this on this program a number of times before, but right now uh, people seem to think the Fed is going to keep an aggressive posture for longer because of Jay Powell's recent speech and that would tend to harm Bitcoin. But the other thing going on is, you know, you think about uh, what happened a couple of weeks ago when Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders and some other prominent Democratic senators sent a letter to my old agency asking them to pull back all of the regulation that I had imposed when I was in office that was an attempt to provide both safety and clarity. Their view seems to be, no, 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 let's not let Bitcoin anywhere close to the regulated sphere of the economy, meaning banks and broker dealers. That tends to suggest that this is going to remain a niche asset that will be risky and non-standard. That isn't what markets like. If the big asset managers of the world are going to touch crypto, there has to be a rule set. Why these senators don't want the activity to be happening within the regulatory perimeter, that's a good question. Um, but that tends to be negative for price. Now, guys, I hope you understand why I've been so bullish recently that executive orders should bring some clarity to the crypto market as well as a potential new Congress. But this right here should be the indicator that all of you look at to let you know that we're going to rise in the immediate short term from XRP Crypto Wolf. Jim Cramer stated to avoid all speculative assets like crypto as the Federal Reserve stays hawkish. Guys, I actually looked up the other day that there is an inverse Jim Cramer ETF, which is an ETF that exists solely to see what Jim Cramer says and do the opposite. If you actually look up that Jim Cramer inverse ETF, you'll see that it outperforms the S&P 500. <laughs> Jim Cramer is the news for the masses. The masses are always wrong. He's bearish on crypto. And that's why I think that's just an additional domino falling in our direction towards positive momentum. Guys, stay the course, hold strong, and you should be buying like a madman right now. That is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor, but you should probably follow that anyway. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. I need every single one of you to tune into my YouTube video tomorrow, as I believe the principles I'm going to teach in that specific video will help everyone become a crypto millionaire. These principles have certainly helped me, and I pray it helps all of you. As always, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video.